So today marks the Mid-Autumn Festival, a festival that's meant to celebrate the harvest, togetherness, and the chance to give thanks in China and other Southeast Asian countries. So a key part of celebrating this festival has to do with moon cake. Mm. That's a traditional pastry that's prepared and shared among family and friends. And our Isabel Lawrence shows us how one local chef is keeping these traditions alive and sharing them here in Northeast Ohio. This place may look like a retro old diner, but inside a chef is cooking up some tasty Chinese dishes, including a few extra special ones just in time for the Mid-Autumn Festival. Come check them out. <laughs> it's a busy day in the kitchen at Abundance Culinary in Cleveland Heights as Chef Liu Fang cooks for the Mid-Autumn Festival. There's a lot of work that put into this and a lot of love that put into this. And you can taste mm. both of those things. Mm. Mm. <laughs> in her food, especially her mooncakes. Right. They're an important part of mid-autumn festival celebrations. It's a time to sit down and think about what we have done during the year and to be thankful for the harvest that we've got in our life and uh, uh, share that, uh, and cherish that moment with family. Liu Fang says the festival traditionally means a feast, coming together and watching the moon at its brightest. Being able to celebrate it with the, with the community and actually sharing the meal and sharing mooncakes, uh, it's equally as important because it reminds me of home. She says back home in China, different regions have different takes on mooncakes, round pastries that can be sweet or savory and stuffed with different fillings. It all starts with the dough. You can do honey. You can do also do like a simple syrup for this recipe. This is the Cantonese style. Mixed so together with oil, flour, and alkaline water. And into the mixer. For a sweet mooncake like this one, Liu Fang says traditionally lotus or winter melon reduction can be used, but she's putting an Ohio spin on it by using chocolate and orange filling instead, wrapping them up and stamping them with a bunny. It's like a lucky thing for the holiday. Then onto the savory with a different dough meant to be flakier. Rolling it out. While typically these may be stuffed with pork or lamb, Liu Fang is using local ingredients like cured meats. Traditionally, you can also like stamp on it. Uh, you can use like different like, you know, coloring. You can write on it. Then into the oven, coming out steaming yeah. and golden brown. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. An opportunity to savor good food. But for Liu Fang, the festival is more about celebrating the who and not the what in your life. Slow down and actually enjoy a meal together, enjoy a conversation together, and nothing else really matters that much. In Cleveland Heights, Isabel Lawrence, 3 News. You said it best, I think. Yeah. It's like... Oh. Thanksgiving. Oh, it's like Thanksgiving, yes. <laughs> I was like, what did I say? <laughs> it must have been profound when I said it. It was, so. yes. Yeah, yes. like kind of like their Thanksgiving, so. It can, yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be interested in trying it, so. Uh, yeah.